Show 2022 here in, I don't know if it's sunny or not in Las Vegas. I have not seen the sun all week. <laughs> See, we, we, we haven't seen the sun, and it's okay. Uh, this uh, Guns and Gear Live is brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. We appreciate their support. Uh, but today we have Mr. Brett Voorhees on. The man over at Taurus. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. So, see, he is the man. Wow. <laughs> you said it's it. Okay. It's you okay. It's okay to say that. You it's okay it. to say that. I, I don't mind at all. Hey, welcome in, guys. Guns and Gear Live brought to you by Palmetto State Armory here at Day 4 SHOT Show. Okay, Brett, we're going to go ahead and just – I want to get your overall thoughts on SHOT Show, how it's been for you guys, what Taurus has been up to, um, and the decision to – to come because we've had a lot of companies drop out. Yeah, and I mean, for us, it was important that we could come here. Um, the fact that the show has now happened, we're on the last day. No. They didn't, it didn't get shut down, you know, all week. <laughs> Thank goodness. So, you know, like maybe we can get back to normal going forward. Maybe, yeah. you know, the next show will, will actually happen. Yeah. It's, it's just was like the lead up to this. You know, is it really going to, to occur? And it's been great. Right. I mean, it's been productive yeah. as ever. Um, you know, I know our employees wanted to come to this and, yeah. and be here so it, it, we're, we were so happy we could do it well and it's about spending a little bit more quality time because i know because i mean even last shot show when we were here you know we're in meetings every 30 minutes or right. whatever it is and and you don't have those you know blocks of time here you know i mean it's a little bit more quality time with with quality people yeah definitely, definitely. yeah and uh how's the how's the factory doing the new facilities it's been great you know we still have some room to grow down there but yep. um i mean we've we've produced more firearms out of that yep. factory than we've ever been able the, to produce and, and the bainbridge area is just absolutely gorgeous it's I mean, great and you know the community support yeah. for us the you know our employees that we've hired there we were recognized as the the top employer in bainbridge that was that meant a lot that you know because we're we're the huge. new kids there yeah. right so uh, to be recognized like that was great, and no, it's fantastic. Right. And well, and just to b breathe a little bit more life into the the area, and just I mean, that's that's kind of big, you know, yeah, and especially exactly. to these small towns, especially when you we look across the I mean, the whole spectrum of the United States, and and these states that are kind of less friendly towards our our, our industry. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's nice to be welcomed the every once in a while. The state of Georgia is very welcoming, I can tell you that. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> yes. They love having tours there. But, uh, okay, we've got some new guns here, and I know everybody's like, oh, KJ, quit talking about, you know, SHOT Show. But we got to talk about it because, you know, sometimes there's people who jump in and don't know. Yeah, so we're just right. giving you a little insight. We're going to start off with these uh, – these funny guns with the cylinders. Yes, these are called revolvers. So, okay, all right, perfect. Yeah, we we, uh, we have a, a couple new very exciting models here. Um, I'm going to start with the 605. So 605 perfect. is an mm -hmm. existing model yeah. that we have, smaller frame, uh, 357 Magnum, um, with a five shot capacity. This is our Defender series. Okay. So when we when we were making the 856 and some of the smaller frame revolvers we got a lot of feedback hey your hardcore revolver enthusiast wants right. a 3 inch uh 3 inch barrel on their smaller frame revolver right. so it's kind of the perfect mix of of shootability concealed carry it's not meant to be a pocket gun uh, right. but you can still carry it very comfortably so 3 inch 357 magnum uh tritium night sight with the high vis uh orange and that's why like, it really pops up there. And so on revolvers, I mean, you need you need something to pop right up front. And right. Not having having us like flat black. I just not a big fan of that, especially right. at nighttime. Right. And so a little bit longer sight radius. You have that front sight that really pops yeah. out. Uh, very shootable uh, revolver and a great carry option. Uh, now, this one has the G10 VZ yes. guess that you <laughs> kind of jumped ahead and, and wanted to get your hands on. I know. I wanted to get, I saw this one. This was actually the first one I picked up. I was like, oh, my gosh, I love those those grips. Yeah, talk a little bit about those. My gosh. So so VZ uh, is one of our partners for, for G10 grips specifically. Right. And so those are um, – there's a lot of different options. But this uh, type of texture where it's like these large ridges yeah it's very comfortable to shoot even on a small 357 right. doesn't beat you up too bad but the the texture is great to you know really hold right. on to the gun it doesn't well, bother you carrying it because it's not that aggressive and they can always just load it up if you're if that worries you load it up with 38 special right I right mean, and you know, just do that, do that and you'll be fine yeah and then this is our two-tone model. So you have the stainless finish with the black cylinder. Right. We, we have a lot of different variations. So there's, yeah. you know, there's Cerakote models. There's okay. wood grips. There's really? a, lot, a lot going on. There's a, 
Hogue rubber grips. So now guys are going to ask. They're going to ask. They're going to always ask price point, and I know sure. that's going to that's going to vary. Yeah. Um, um, and when's it available? And right. where can they get it? Right. Um, so anything that we have that we're showing, we are we're currently shipping. Okay. Perfect. So we don't want to come out here and show people stuff they can't go See, buy. And it's, well, I think what a lot of people don't know is that in years past that hasn't always been the case right if someone wants to rush a product out and they're like wow you can get it in six months yep we and we've been guilty of it before but we we try to do better well so. you, you're doing a lot better and, and especially on the especially on the customer service side what you guys are able to pump out of your factory now and that's one thing that really stood out to me when we visited sure the yep. factory is how small you know the returns were like, yeah that was amazing i mean for for the volume of, of guns that we're selling uh and have been selling for the last this is our 40th year yeah. in the u.s right um you know there's there's a lot of tourists out there and they all yeah. have a lifetime warranty uh, we only get right around 100 a little less than 100 guns a day in That's for warranty repair and it's it and the turnaround anything, is quick <laughs> yeah it could be anything from you know i lost my front sight and yeah. i want to send it in and have you install a new one or yeah you know. that's amazing all right let's move on because it's it's a good one too. Yeah. So the 327 is a is a new caliber for right. us. Um, again, in a small package here, um, but a two inch barrel, uh, same size as our 856, which is our right. most popular revolver that we sell. Uh, but you're going to get six rounds of capacity right. with the 327. Uh, very similar terminal ballistics as as right. a uh, 357, but you know a little extra capacity, which is yeah, great. which is which is big time. And I know. I know on Tom Gresham's Gun Talk Radio, if you guys listen to Michelle, big fan of the 327. Yes, like it, she's she's kind of a fan, like, yes. which is um, great. And again, this is where we are listening to feedback from your hardcore revolver enthusiasts. Yep. So uh, this is one I can tell you who who really pushes this is Jason Glossner at Lipsy's. Oh my He's gosh, he's been yeah. on us, and we're like, <laughs> man, we can't build enough revolvers, so we had to build. A, enough capacity in our factory yeah. to be able to support this before we could bring it out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's been pushing us and you know, well, good for Jason a, and good for Michelle for pushing out the 327 yeah. for sure. But all right, guns were, we should be familiar with by now are the semi autos. Yes. So we're going to put those front and center. Which one do you want to talk about first? Cause they're both great. Uh, let's, let's talk about the new G3 platform. I like here. it. So you're familiar with our G3. It's yes. One of our flagship product lines. Uh, we came out with the G3C, which was obviously the compact right. version of that uh, last year. And then now we have kind of a hybrid of those two yeah. models. So the G3X is a shorter barrel like the G3C, okay. but a full-size grip like the G3. So for, for people like me, I like to carry appendix. Yes. So that shorter barrel means something to me, but I like a full grip when I'm shooting and, and when I'm well, doing reloads and so my fat hands don't get in the way, those type of And things. that's it. And in, in, in the draw process, yes. I think a lot of guys don't think about is the draw process and what this means for guys, especially that carry appendix. Because when you go to make that draw, you want to be able to get a good purchase on it and your hand falls effortlessly exactly. Exactly. into that groove. Exactly. So and that's I like huge. to have 15 rounds on me if I can. Well, yeah. I'd more, more the merrier, yes. right? Um, and also... The grip texture is 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 aggressive. It's aggressive. Uh, it's the same grip texture that we have on the G3. Um, you know, it's it's on the aggressive side, but yeah. it, it works. Oh, yeah. You know, you're, that gun well, does not slip in your hand when you're shooting. You know, I mean, the last thing you want to do is to go grab, and I, I know a lot of guys, what they normally say, and you know this, is, you know, I want an aggressive texture, but I don't want it rubbing against Right. I don't want skin. it to tear up my well, clothes or my skin or... Wear an undershirt. They don't cost that much. Jeez. Like, come on. Like, it's not that hard. Yeah. Um, but what, what's, what I like is that, okay, do you want a smooth grip? And then when you go to grab it, you're, you're not going to get a good purchase because right. maybe there's a little sweat on your grip or right. whatever it is. Just, it's aggressive's okay, guys, especially appendix. Like, aggressive's good. It helps you control the gun better. That's right. Um, and this hits all the right spots. Um, hits everywhere. It's nice. Um, we had a chance to shoot this actually out at range day. Um, very impressive. Like, very Thank controllable. Um, weight distribution is great on it. Um, but, yeah, I love it. All right, we're going next, right? Next is the GX4. So we, we came out the GX4 uh, this past year, obviously. Uh, it's been a, a big hit. Micro yeah. compact. You know, oh, yeah. it's what everyone wants right now. I still have one in the office. This one Just is our saying. this one is our Toro model. So this is the yep. optic ready uh, option for the GX4. 
Um, so you have all the great features that people already love about the GX4. You know, 11 round capacity, which is always yeah. the big thing. Fantastic trigger. Um, you know, really streamlined, small concealed carry yeah. gun. But now you have a very robust optic mounting system where the, yes. the optic is actually mounted directly to the slide without an adapter plate. It doesn't That's get more sturdy than that. It's seamless. It's, it, and, and guys, I mean, it's aesthetics, but you want it as close to the bore as possible. Exactly. Right. So that, that optic sits. And these, these micro uh, compact optics are fantastic. Right. The, well, the stock sights co-witness with it. Um, that's what I was getting to. Yeah. And you don't have to, so you don't, so there's some firearms out there that when you take the plate off, it's going to remove your front sight. Right. With this, you don't have, and it's not moved far enough forward that it's going to be, you right. know. You're still going to be able way. to fit in, in any of the holsters, holsters that are out there. Yeah. And actually, when we when we worked with the holster manufacturers on the GX4, we told them about this up front, so they designed okay. it right the first time. Aha. See? Now, all right. Now, this one, for all you guys that don't like the aggressive texture, this one is not as aggressive. Not as aggressive. We yeah. did a little bit of a different route on yeah. this one. So. On the G3 series, the texture actually sticks out from, right. protrudes out from the frame. On the uh, GX4, it actually sinks into the frame. So yeah. it's a little bit different feeling, uh, but it's very effective. It, yeah. it, the texture works, it's there, uh, but it doesn't feel quite as aggressive. Right. Um, if So we were reviewing, <laughs> it's funny. So we get new guns in all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you guys test all the new guns too. And, yep. and just to look at them. Uh, so we were running through a bunch of different guns, and we had we had the GX4 up there. And it was funny because we were doing trigger tests, you know, the trigger pulls, mm -hmm. you know, see what weights are and everything like that. And, you know, one of the best ones, we had 11, I think, what was it, Michael, 11 or something like that guns that we were sitting there reviewing for trigger weight pull. This was like the best trigger out there. <laughs> really? Yes, and it was like it was really good. It was really consistent. Yeah. Um, it was almost it was almost that blend of a, a perfect uh, everyday carry trigger, and, and that's really what we set out for. Yeah. We wanted it to be a good trigger with a short take up, crisp break, all yeah. of those uh, kind of boxes are checked. Yeah. Uh, but it's still you know right around six pounds. It doesn't feel heavy because no. of the crisp break. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's a safe trigger to carry, of course, um, but it, it just feels really good to oh, shoot. It feels really good, um, and I like the trigger guard that's a little bit bigger, especially for winter carry. If you're out and about, you're cold, you've got gloves on, a little bit more room in that trigger guard, always important. Yeah, it helps. It yeah. helps for sure. Well, Pratt, man, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, and I know it's you guys, a pleasure. It's, it, the show is almost over, guys. Uh, definitely check out Taurus. Where can they learn more? TaurusUSA.com. That's it. Uh, make sure you're supporting companies that believe in what we're doing and then that are here uh, helping us out. But uh, that's, that's this one. We've got more coming up from SHOT Show 2022. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Always very innovative. It's a lot of fun.